Hello, this is Serb Atheist, and this is my reply to Razor Sex. Yes, that is an actual YouTube name. And her her deep and sincere request is the sweet young girl for someone to make her a sandwich. So I felt more than obliged, especially since I'm completely starving after five hours of work to reply to this video. Okay, so here's how you make Serve Atheist style sandwich. Take a take a delicious Italian or French baguette, moderately sized one, you don't have to go overboard, but it has to be, you know, normal European type bread. You know, that, that, that slice thing that you guys have going in America, I have no idea why you, you call that thing bread. So anyway, you take a piece of, let's say, Italian bread, slice it in half, and then you start piling things on one of the two sides. Uh, first, you cover it with butter. Then you take some good leftover chicken. Chicken breast is... Uh, I only eat white chicken meat. When it when it comes to chicken, that's the only that's the only good meat there is, as far as I, I'm concerned. So you take that sort of coldish leftover meat and, and sort of just just rip it up into into strips. You know how how chicken meat rips up, and then douse all of that stuff you have with uh, generous amounts of soy sauce. Soy sauce and chicken go beautifully together. You, you cut, cut up slices of your favorite type of cheese. Cheese is indispensable, of course. Put it all in like a microwave plate. Um, let it heat up for a minute or two minutes until the cheese is nicely melted over the soy sauce drenched chicken. Then you put all that stuff onto the onto the bre onto the bread, and then you take a nice slice of Italian prosciutto. We call it prosciutto in Serbia. You know, it has to be top grade stuff. Really, the experience simply isn't the same if it's not. Put it on top. Take some baby tomatoes. You can cut them in half. Uh, Put them on top, take some sprouts, put them, add a bit of, you can add a bit of like uh, parmesan, sprinkle it on top, and finally douse everything with a generous amount of blue cheese ranch dressing. And the result you get is... Voila! Doesn't that look good? Well, there you have it.